right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, you seem to be all right. No connection issues. Okay, good. For now. All righty. So not to my phone camera. That is exclusively Instagram. So I'm going to be inking and coloring um, my pre-done sketch of Spider Punk here. I'm live, everyone. <laughs> but first, I'm going to remember that I have to add the studs in Spider Punk's collar. Hello. Alright. Someone on Instagram, but no one on any of my others yet. Nope. Now I'm completely alone again. That's fine. So I'm going to do a last minute there. Kind of popped up collar there. Alright. So usually when I go to color first, um, I usually don't have these webs in here, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take my kneaded eraser here um, and kind of, I want to leave enough so I at least have a reference point, but I'm using a pretty soft pencil lead, my um, John Michelle pencils right here that I did on my last uh, awkward unboxing. I'm not usually a fan of uh, soft pencils, but I'm starting to dig these. Just lighten up my pencil a little bit. And Nice thing about the soft pencils is, and I'm really starting to appreciate, is they lighten, they take a lot less to erase. As, as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell on the camera there, but I started this sketch off with uh, my red pen, my Blackwing red pencil. Needed eraser back in its case, which is just nothing I previously enjoyed. Um, disposable razor blade case that my wife donated. Hey, Tony, what is going on? All right, just doing a quick spider punk sketch. Hello, no one on any of my other social media, but my Instagram is starting to get people. All right. So I'm just, um, I already pre-done my spider punk sketch, oh, and probably help, I'll show you a picture of my studio in a moment, but, right now, oh thanks, um, I was working on this sketch a little bit um, over the weekend, oh, did I lose my connection? Alright, I'm back. Uh, okay. So I forgot to plug in my Wi-Fi extender. That gives me grief um, when I try to use it for. For those keeping, um, oh, someone. Uh, for those keep up, I did an upgrade on my internet last year, which that my modem moved, which is great for the rest of the house, but not so good for my studio now. And so now I get intermittent signal issues in my basement. I did buy a Wi-Fi booster, but I haven't either. It doesn't quite work the way I want it to, or I just haven't figured it out. I'm at that age where Technology is starting to be new and frightening for me. So, anyway, I'm rambling, so 
usually when I do a piece, um, a lot of my artist buddies will do the inks and then the colors. Um, I'm a bit of a weirdo though, so I'll do the colors first. Because I find, um, I found when I do the inking first um, and then I go into the colors, my colors will over, um, kind of oversaturate my ink and then I have to ink again. Where if I do a bit of the coloring first, I can still go over the ink, but I don't have to go over the ink twice. It's a bit of an odd process. It works for me. So um, because this is actually a 7x10 art board, uh, golden age comic art board that I bought because stupid me didn't read the size properly, but I found that these make amazing art boards. I can do like some big head sketches on here. And I'm using a Copic Wide. Um, I made, I got an empty one and made this an R08 uh, fill because I found that, hello, um, I found that um, this is actually a nice base color for a lot of my Spider-Man, the R08 and Copic. Uh, so I can because I draw a lot of spidey head sketches. I um, keep losing signal on Instagram. Oh, I'm going to try something here. Bear with me. There. I'm just going to not use the Wi-Fi for my phone. I'm actually going to use data. I have a pretty decent data plan on my phone to where I use it. And I'm getting near the end of this round, so before that resets, so I'm just going to leave that out because I don't get rollover. I keep coloring over the spikes here. So, okay, so it looks like. I'm just going to call up my reference here. I have to do this. I'm wearing a blue vest. Is it a black vest, blue shirt. Actually, that makes things a little easier. I can. I won't go all black with this one. Going with a dark gray, and once again, uh, I'll use a uh, Copic wide marker for big spaces like these. These or like this. These are a real uh, time saver. open up here so I might I think of another artistic solution so this isn't all just one C9 colored blob. But there comment feel free to say hi ask questions Whatever you need. Um, and then I'll try my best to answer. So, alright, take care of the eyes here. Um, actually, no. No, I will not. Um, the spikes, yeah. So, there are nothing.
just a rough cut and a bit to me is a smaller This one's a little bit tough to do. Oh, that is dry. Alright. That's what I get for not checking my supplies before going to do a live video. I deserve this. And I'm not, I'm going to just color in all these spikes in the C5. I'm not going to going to worry too, too much about um, my light values and my dark values just yet. Now, but I'm going to get my there. A little more white. And you know what? While I'm thinking of it, um, I always tend to, for some reason, I always tend to think in colors like RGB, CMYK, something that can be duplicated on a computer screen. Um, I'm actually going to add a touch of silver here. Not much, but I do have uh, silver markers. Oh, there we go. And oh, my other screen just. I'm just trying to think of what I want to do with um, the eyes here. I'm looking at a. Because it's. Uh, Spider Punk is very popular right now because of. Uh, after Spider Verse. Oh, after Spider Verse. He is now in the mainstream, which is great because. Spider Punk is cool. I say that as a guy in my mid 40s that is objectively not cool. I've got a couple of different references and a couple of different styles here, so. going to be exact to one particular version of spider punk. Chatting, hi. Hi, thanks for stopping in. Um, sorry if I'm a little not multitasking. I've um, set it up so my phone is doing Instagram, but um, I have Restream on my computer, uh, re streaming to all my other social media. So, just finished. 
Well, thank you. It's Webhead Wednesday, and I've yet to do my Spider-Man drawing. Um, the weekend was a little hectic, and I was working nights, so I'm just trying to get back into the swing of being conscious during the day. But I realize I have two of these uh, black classic. There is no mullet on spider punk, Chetton. Um, uh, he has dreads. Because spider punk in Across the Spider Verse is Hobie Brown. So he gets dreads. Um, just the way they did it this time. I'm pretty sure, um, I think I can, there may be a Spider-Man or five or six that I can introduce a mullet on. I mean, heck, mainstream uh, Spider-Man sported mullets in the 80s and 90s. But yeah, I think, um, Spider-Man uh, Spider with a mullet would actually satisfy all sorts of buttons when I try to participate in these Instagram drawing things. No, this is, um, no, uh, this is actually a bunch of, uh, this is a comic backboard. Um, I, a few years ago, accidentally bought well, accidentally, I just didn't look at the specs. I bought a bunch of Golden Age um, art boards uh, to kind of re-bag and board my um, comic collection. And then once I know, didn't think that there would be that much of a size difference. So now I'm using them for art board. Because it's something like five bucks for a 100 pack, which from an art supply perspective, is actually pretty cheap, and these things take abuse pretty well. I'm using the uh, matte side. Yes, I'm using the matte side. Don't you, you don't use, don't use the glossy. If you're going to do comic book backboard art, do not use the um, glossy side. Um, although, yes, I should probably start using all those Eon boards I purchased. I that's what I'm using for our current uh, TikTok Tom story that I'm still working on. And I have a bunch of small Eon boards that I did one sketch of Iggy on and then didn't use, so I'm gonna I'm going to have to start using them all up pretty soon. Yeah, the gloss, when you're using um, unconventional art supplies, like said, something like a comic backboard, the glossy side for wet media is not good at all. Alright, you know, I have a. So, let me. Sorry if I'm, my English is very broken today. I am. I said I just finished a night shift this morning, so got a little less so that I can reset to uh, sleeping at night. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. To maybe use my wide here to uh, once again, if we're doing time saving, and I haven't really been paying it. Um, I want. 
I want to say um, right now with the references I'm using, I've got like a bunch of references on my iPad to the right of me that are all like some from the movie, some from the comic. Um, so I'm kind of mixing a little bit of both. Uh, the thing with the spider punk um, in the movie that I think everyone noticed, uh, his art style changed consistently. So, um, not necessarily design, but the way they animated him, the way they had him moving in and out, like, just was always in a state of flux. So, if I have any, if I'm not quite drawing the movie version or the version, probably, my story is, um, his character design changes in the movie, and I'm trying to imitate that. Um, oh, you haven't. Oh, in that case, I highly recommend it. It is great. But yeah, it is, um, Across the Spider-Verse is a great all around. Did so much she saw it twice. Yeah. Yes. I've only seen it once, but she's seen it now twice. Oh, no, I get it. I get that. Um, I'm not as ahead on things as I'd like to be myself. Um, I haven't been keeping up with any of the or much of the live Marvel stuff. The only uh, Marvel movie I've seen, um, like MCU I've seen, is, uh, like, this year is uh, Guardians 3. Outside of that, Spider-Verse. I haven't watched any of the shows. I haven't seen... Um, Ant-Man, I waited for Wakanda forever to show up on Disney+. Plus. So I'm pretty behind, too. Oh! You like... You like one? Oh, well, okay. Yeah, so I'm still... Okay, yeah, I enjoyed... I wasn't sure what to make of uh, what Wakanda Forever was going to be given um, the untimely passing of uh, Chadwick Boseman and all, uh, I think, all things considered they did a great job with uh, Wakanda Forever. Um, I enjoyed uh, Guardians Volume 3 a great deal. Um, so I ended up seeing uh, actually ended up seeing the Flash uh, Flashpoint or I guess the Flash although um, I didn't hate that one as much as I thought I would have because all the controversy. Um, but I felt I felt it kind of had a classic. Um, what I find is the classic uh, problem with a lot of the DC stuff. They kind of have, um, and a lot of superhero movies in general. Sometimes they have a habit of. Um, bringing out the big story on the first pass or introduce like the biggest bad that has an unsatisfying end on the first movie. That was the other part uh, too that um, like it wasn't necessarily a um, flash movie. It was other DC character movie. That's kind of how I felt um, about 
uh, Captain America Civil War, actually. I kind of felt that that was a little more of, um, should have been a little more of an Avengers 2.5 or something along that line. All right, so for my background, Got a lot of red and gray and black. So, a couple of ways I can tackle this background uh, for anyone that's on here. Uh, should I be doing like, I think I want to do like a bright um, background. What's the one? What do you think? Do like a bright, colorful background for yeah. Spider Punk? Yes? Okay. Do I have. Any, uh, yeah. Ah, I know what I could use. Um, I just got all these nifty fluorescent colors. You guys will use them. Are you trying to go on YouTube now, little one? I already am. I'm pretty sure I'm like one of your only viewers. Oh, thank on you. There. Okay. And the only one that I've liked. Oh, thank you. I don't see the like yet, but this is through, uh, re um, I'm filming on YouTube through Restream. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I just picked these up not that long ago from Motaco Fuel. These are, um, Copic fluorescent markers, and I've already gummed this one up. That's okay. I just got plenty of replacement goods. If I can ungunk that one or fix it. And that is the nice thing I like about the um, about the reusable markers. Um, downside is the upfront cost is a little much, but once you get past it, uh, the refills it depends on where you go. Um, Curry's I believe has them on line for about nine or ten, uh, eight ninety nine I believe, um, but they are good for. I don't have the chart here in front of me, but they are good for an awful lot of um, refills. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I think they can refill uh, a sketch, sketch or a classic marker about six or seven times. Um, a chow about ten or twelve. Um, a wide about three or four. So you, you can get an awful lot of um, mileage out of the refills. Just like I said, the only thing that really kind of the downside, just the upfront cost for it all, like for these markers is a little pricier than like your Prismacolor or your, um, touch or trying to think of an example because I think a lot like you can get like I know when I first started collecting the Copics I think these were maybe the only uh, ones that you could get replacement nibs and refill um, cart like refill ink to get more mileage out of your markers the markers will eventually die out but you could go a long time without having to throw one out. Um, but yeah, Curry's has the refills at um, $8.99. Uh, there's another that's uh, pretty good too, uh, worth checking out. Um, they have a pretty decent. Oh, nice. And that's, and that's the nice thing with the like cheap markers too like the markers all um mm. okay yeah um i highly encourage it uh um I, sorry i'm rambling uh i kind of luck out with my copa collection a lot of my starting collection was uh a lot of christmas presents um but I would say if you are going to try uh, Copics, um, 
like start small, like they're pricey. Um, I'd say start small, like your, I'd say a couple of gray scales, uh, primary colors, and maybe um, earth tones, like flesh tones. Um, but yeah, I think um, my Copic buying the last few years, uh, because again, a lot of um, a lot of family members got me a lot of Copics for a lot of holidays over the years. Um, so I've got a pretty decent, like, got a pretty decent collection now. I just um, shop for the uh, nibs and refills. Um, but I'd say get a few, get a few markers, and then right away get the corresponding. Um, ink refills. Oh, I no, absolutely. Um when you do buy um Copics, I will be like I will be more than happy. Now, I'm not an expert, but I can just impart my two cents. Um but I would say um you can I guess as far as uh, stores go, like, as far as local stores, the only store that I think um, sells them right now is, um, oh, <laughs> he is a, well, it's the thing about Spider-Punk, he is a weird-looking Spider-Man, like, spikes on the head, like, spikes on the head and collar and whatnot, but yeah, he's, like what basically punk was back in the day. Um, but yeah, I've drawn some pretty weird uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-People. I have to say, though, and this could just be my thing, um, the weirdest Spider-Man I've drawn was uh, the Spider-Armor Spider-Man. No, they're not growing, uh, no, they're not growing from, uh, his head. Uh, as far as I understand, they are kind of stitched into the costume the same way that these are, um, kind of stitched in, like the spikes are stitched into, um, stitched into the collar. So, yeah, he doesn't have spikes growing out of his head. That's another, um, thing that I've really been enjoying the last few and my little one introduced me to these these are um, acrylic pens these are uh, Posca's now the downside with them is these are not refillable so when they're gone they're gone but I use them a lot when I need like when I need a bold uh, when I need a bold color that's not going that doesn't blend it's really weird But yeah, um, it's just the way Spider Punk is. Yeah, those. Although I don't know, there might be a few versions of Spider Punk where he did get these bolted to his head. Oh yeah, yeah no, this um, and these are you can get at uh, Michaels as well. Uh, Posca's they come in a few different sizes. This is. Um, collection so here's a uh, smaller like this is the finest one um, this is the medium I like these for the fine points and as you've seen my medium there and then I've got a few bigger ones when I really need to um, fill in a space um, with something that's not, not going to uh, blend like the Copics but yeah these are uh, these are nice uh, again a little pricey at Michaels but nice thing about Michaels is you can actually use a coupon for that 
Okay, will do. I'm still trying to work out a consistent uh, schedule because I'm on shift. My videos are always last minute. But I will we'll try to work something out. Good luck feeding the kids. I'll probably have to feed mine soon. But yeah, thanks for uh, stopping in and chatting it up. Thank you very much. YouTube chat and thank you very much um, and for everyone on my uh, other fight like YouTube and whatnot I was talking to my pal and uh, TikTok Tom creator editor Chetan Patel uh, TikTokTom.com definitely check that out you can I've got a link to the website on my link tree on all my social media I highly encourage that all right so And I don't know, I keep seeing an error message pop up on my um, restream. So I don't know if comments are going on or not. If there are comments, I'm not seeing them. And if anyone, like, I'm sorry. But yeah, I cannot see comments and I keep getting the odd error. You have commented? I have it, but I'm not able to. Oh, okay. All right, so right now it's just me and my little woman. I'm pretty sure that maybe one other person. Okay. I don't know, so one watching is me, or someone else is watching. Uh, it might be you at this point. But thank you. Hello. Got a little bit of shaming. I've got oh geez, 40 minutes. We'll do a quick color video. All right. What do you think, little one, if you're still watching? Is there anything I should be adding here? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know when to rein it in some days. I'll just... Um, actually, you know what? Get my orange back out and add a little bit here on this side. I swear, I'm going to do some really silver theme, just because they have spikes on the collar. Maybe some other color. Yeah, I think that Maybe I'll some of this.
out just to kind of separate that a little bit. Yeah. Also me. Oh, I'm just about wrapping up and I'll add 10 more minutes and fix stuff. I will... Get this beast of a marker out. to add some kind of separation there. And I'm not sure what, if this is supposed to be like a leather or... Or if it's... I'm not sure what his... Anyone out there who's actually listening... Like, what is uh, Spider Punk's vest here supposed to be? Is it supposed to be leather or... Uh, more of a denim. Let me know. But in the meantime, I think that is that. So. Alright. Yeah, a little over 40 minutes. So, I think that is it for me. For those that stopped in, even just to look for a second or two, thank you very much, and hope to do this again very soon. I really have to get a schedule worked out for this stuff. All right, have a good night, all.